Pray with us the powerful prayer to St. Benedict and ask him to free your entire family from evil. We recommend reciting this prayer every day at home, at work, with your family, seeking the protection of God and the intercession of St. Benedict to ward off any negative influences that may be affecting you. We also invite you to leave your needs or requests in the comments so that we can strengthen them in a chain of prayer. Comment, St. Benedict, come protect my family, and subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications whenever we post new content on this channel. Begin the prayer by invoking the name of Jesus, using the cross as a guide and light in all aspects of your life. Place the medal of St. Benedict as a shield of protection over your life. In this sacred moment, lift our hearts before the Divine Presence, starting this prayer with reverence and humility. In the stillness of the Spirit, let us invoke the name of Jesus, placing the cross as a beacon and guide on our spiritual journey. May each other word be a bridge between earth and heaven, a link that connects us to the redeeming force of faith. At this instant, immersed in spiritual tradition, we recall the remarkable prayer of St. Benedict, a beacon of hope and protection against the shadows of evil. May the symbolic richness of the St. Benedict medal, with its chalice, serpent, bread, and raven, lead us to a deeper understanding of the blessings and miracles that this prayer can invoke. May the cup that leaped from the hands of St. Benedict in the face of poison, and the raven that snatched away the poisoned bread, serve as testimonies to a divine intervention that transcends human limitations. May these events inspire us to trust in God's providence amid life's challenges, revealing the light that can dispel the darkness of imminent danger. As we contemplate St. Benedict's spiritual discipline, following his holy rule with the daily recitation of this prayer, we recognize the importance of consistency in spiritual seeking. May this daily practice, at work and at home, become a firm anchor for us, grounding us in faith and trust, regardless of the storms that may arise. With the cross as a guide and the metal as a shield, we delve into the essence of this prayer, knowing that each uttered word is more than a formula, it is an expression of our faith, a plea for divine protection. Before the altar of our own existence, we acknowledge Christ's redemptive victory over the forces of evil, invoking this cross as a symbol of our hope and security. As we share our needs in the comments, we form a community of faith, weaving a chain of prayers that intertwine in unison. May these typed words become spiritual vibrations, echoing in the hearts of those who participate, strengthening us on our collective journey. May St. Benedict, guardian of spiritual tradition and protector against negative influences, hear our pleas. By seeking his intercession, we acknowledge our dependence on something greater, our need for guidance and divine safeguarding. In each spoken and shared word, may the depth of faith manifest, creating an atmosphere of peace and protection around us. Thus, in this profound prayer, we surrender to the divine presence, trusting that the echoed words reverberate in the depths of our being, bringing comfort, spiritual strength, and, above all, the certainty that we are enveloped by divine grace. May this prayer be a conduit for the manifestation of the sacred in our lives, guiding us safely along the paths of faith. Amen. Now, let us close our eyes and recite the powerful prayer of St. Benedict against all evil in your life. Glorious Saint Benedict, who devoted your entire life to Christ and to your brothers, caring for spiritual life and building bridges of love between the heart of God and the soul of man. Protect me against the attacks of evil. Free me from the snares of the enemy. Grant me inner peace and strength in the face of life's storms. Almighty Saint Benedict, Defend me from envious glances, and teach me to share love with all. May the cross of the Lord guide me on paths of light, and may the fierce dragon that circles our soul be driven away by the power of Christ the Savior. Keep away from my life and my family. 
all the forces of evil, and through your intercession. May I proclaim the mercies of Christ the Lord. Amen. In our spiritual journey, we delve deeper into the stream of faith, where words become a melody of supplications, and hope intertwines with the certainty of divine presence. In this sacred space, we continue the prayer, recognizing the magnitude of the sacred and the uniqueness of each soul joining in this plea. As we utter the words, we feel the flow of spiritual energy, an echo of intentions rising like incense before the celestial throne. May each syllable be like an offering, a petal laid at the feet of the Most High, carrying the yearnings, joys, and struggles of every heart seeking refuge in the prayer of Saint Benedict. In contemplating the metal, we see more than mere symbols, we witness a story of miracles and divine interventions. May the chalice and serpent remind us of protection surpassing poisons of both body and soul, while the bread and raven represent providence rescuing us from invisible dangers. May these images be etched in our hearts, guiding us in trust that, just as God protected Saint Benedict, his loving guard extends over us. Following in the footsteps of Saint Benedict, we incorporate the prayer into our daily routine, not merely as a ritual but as an ongoing dialogue with the divine. May constant practice make us not only observers of faith but active participants in our communion with the sacred, immersed in the atmosphere of devotion permeating each other word. The cross, raised as a beacon on our journey, signifies not only victory over evil but the light illuminating our paths. In its shadow, we find refuge, trusting that its presence disperses the shadows seeking to obscure our faith. As we lift our eyes to the cross, may we find inspiration to overcome challenges and keep hope alive in our hearts. The Medal of Saint Benedict, now placed as a shield, is more than a physical object. It is a symbol of spiritual protection. As we cover ourselves with this imaginary metal, may we be enveloped in celestial armor, guarded against negative influences attempting to undermine our inner peace. By sharing our needs in the comments, we weave a tapestry of intentions, a network of spiritual solidarity. May these typed words transform into tangible prayers, conveying strength to one another as each need is lifted before the divine. In this exchange of intentions, we construct a bridge between our souls, reminding us that we are not alone in this spiritual journey. In the silence following the profound prayer, we remain immersed in a spiritual atmosphere, aware of the connection extending beyond spoken words. It is as if the echo of this plea lingers, touching not only the infinite, but also the innermost corners of our souls. In this contemplative space, we allow ourselves to feel the Divine Presence as a gentle breeze, caressing our hearts with the certainty that our words do not fall on deaf ears. Instead, they intertwine with the will of the sacred, becoming part of the fabric that connects the visible to the invisible, the earthly to the celestial. Each syllable of this prayer, uttered with reverence, becomes a link in the great mystery of spiritual communion. As pilgrims of faith, we continue our journey, aware that by incorporating the spiritual practices inspired by Saint Benedict, we open doors to miracles and divine protection in our own existence. The Medal of Saint Benedict, now conceived not only as a shield but as a spiritual fortress, resonates in our hearts. We imagine ourselves surrounded by its protective aura, conscious that, in our human frailty, we are strengthened by divine grace. May this visualization be a constant reminder that faith is not merely a verbal expression but an experience that permeates our entire journey. The daily discipline of following St. Benedict's holy rule is not just a spiritual routine, it is a continuous commitment to renew faith, to seek God's presence in the everyday. By reciting the prayer mid-work and at home, we imprint the seal of spirituality on every task and environment making our lives a true itinerant sanctuary. In contemplating the cross, a symbol of redemption, we stand before a portal connecting us to eternity. It is a reminder that, amid adversities, 
The light of faith guides us through challenges and takes us beyond the shadows of uncertainty. May the cross be not only a symbol, but a constant source of inspiration, reminding us of the victory found in faith. Our typed words in the comments become links in the chain of prayers, a visible manifestation of spiritual unity. With each shared need, we are aware that, by interceding for one another, we are building a cathedral of hope, its towers reaching towards the heavens. May this virtual community be an extension of St. Benedict's body, where prayers intertwine, strengthening us mutually. By asking St. Benedict to protect our families, we acknowledge the importance of those we love in our spiritual journey. It is an act of generosity and love, seeking not only our own protection, but also divine blessings upon those who are precious treasures in our lives. As we delve deeper into the contemplation of St. Benedict's Medal, which we now carry as a symbol of spiritual protection, we envision not just an object, but a portal to divine presence. May this medal be more than an amulet, may it become an anchor for our faith, grounding us in moments of storm and guiding us in the uncharted seas of existence. The daily practice of this prayer, inspired by St. Benedict's devotion, transcends the mechanical repetition of words. It becomes an act of continuous surrender, a constant conversation with the divine shaping our perspective, infusing every aspect of our lives with a higher purpose. May this practice not be a formality, but a portal to spiritual transcendence. As we turn again to the cross, we find in it more than a symbol, we discover an inexhaustible source of strength and courage. May, as we face life's challenges, we always remember that the cross is not just an emblem, but a living testimony of redemption that transforms shadows into light. May it be our compass, pointing us in the direction of true victory found in faith. The interaction in the comments, where needs are shared and prayers intertwine, is more than a simple exchange of words and virtuality. It is an echo of spiritual community, a tangible expression of unity and diversity. May each comment be a brick in the construction of a temple of compassion and solidarity, where intentions are carried forward on the wings of prayer. By seeking the intercession of St. Benedict to protect our families, we are, in a way, extending the hand of faith over those we love. It is a gesture of spiritual generosity, a prayer that transcends individual limits to embrace the entire web of relationships that compose our lives. May this prayer reach not only our loved ones, but also all homes seeking the light of divine protection. In the purity of the most blessed and ever holy Virgin Mary, we now invoke the presence of the holy angels and archangels of God, guided by the purifying power of the Holy Spirit, the giver of life. Dear brothers and sisters, join us in this sacred moment as we clamor for divine protection on our path. May the Holy Cross be our luminous guide, illuminating the successes and prosperity that await us. We embrace faith, reaching out our hands to receive the blessings of the Kingdom of Heaven. The Almighty Lord is invoked to open the ways, allowing those who wish us well to approach, while protective angels go before us, warding off envy, defamation, and obstacles. In his intercession, Saint Benedict, free us from miseries, poverty, sorrows, and ruins. Let us untie the bonds that generate hatred, resentment, and suffering, not only in our hearts, but also in the hearts of our beloved family. May our lives be enveloped in the glory of God and His generous providence in the face of His glory. With confidence in the Holy Trinity, we ask God to free us from the prisons and torments of hell. May the cross, where the Lord triumphed, speak and respond for us. May contrary hearts be threatened, as we and our family, supported by the medal of Saint Benedict, renounce any evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O glorious Saint Benedict, I seek your powerful intervention to dispel any evil shadow that attempts to obscure my victories. May the humility of the birth in Bethlehem of our God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and his life, preaching, passion, martyrdom, death, 
and triumphant resurrection immediately expel any negative presence from this place. As I walk my path, may the immaculate grace of the blessed and ever holy Virgin Mary, allied with the purifying power of the Holy Spirit, annihilate any form of evil daring to intrude. Join me, dear brothers and sisters, as I invoke the holy angels and archangels of God to guard my path. May the Holy Cross be my guiding light, illuminating the paths of success and prosperity that await me. May my arms open, and my hands reach out with faith to receive the gifts and blessings of the Kingdom of Heaven. O Almighty Lord, open the ways for those who wish me well, placing protective angels ahead and at my feet to prevent stumbling caused by envy, defamation, or any harm. May misery, poverty, sadness, bitterness, ruin, and scarcity stay away from my life. O Saint Benedict, free my heart and the hearts of my family from all bonds that generate hatred, resentment, and suffering. May, through your glorious intercession, our lives be enveloped in the glory of God and His providence. May the Holy Trinity, Sovereign and Eternal God, free us from the prisons and torments of hell. Through the cross, where the Lord triumphed, may He speak and respond for me. May contrary hearts be threatened, as I and my family, protected by the medal of Saint Benedict, renounce any evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May they retreat, unbind, and know no evil things, for we trust in the divine light of Saint Benedict to protect and guide us on our journey. By the power of the name of Jesus, I place the cross as a guide and light in my mind, soul, spirit, and surroundings. May the spilled blood of the conqueror of Golgotha surround my past, present, and future. As a shield, the medal of the glorious abbot Saint Benedict extends over all beings in creation, blessing each member of my family, closest friends, and loved ones. May all be protected and covered, guarded from top to bottom, from wide to narrow, from north to south, from east to west, by the undeniable power of the one and triune God. On this day and under the powerful intercession of Saint Benedict, I break any attack from the enemy and corrupted souls that seek to prevail over me. I cover myself with the love of God, protecting my mind and my heart, warding off any disturbance that tries to attack my thoughts, heart, and spirit, as well as those of my children, parents, nephews, relatives, and those I love. May this clear prayer ward off any evil, just as the raven drove away evil from the hands of the holy abbot. In the face of your blessing, may any poisonous scheme now be rendered ineffective, glorious Saint Benedict. O oh, glorious Saint Benedict, in your immense kindness, I now seek the strength of your intercession to overcome any evil shadow that threatens to obscure my achievements. May the humility of the birth in Bethlehem of our beloved God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and his journey of preaching, passion, martyrdom, death, and triumphant resurrection immediately expel every negative presence from this space. As I walk, I pray that the immaculate grace of the blessed and eternally holy Virgin Mary, combined with the fiery and purifying power of the Holy Spirit, dissipate any form of evil that dares to manifest on my journey. Join me, dear brothers and sisters, as I invoke the presence of the holy angels and archangels of God to safeguard my process of blessing. May the Holy Cross be my luminous guide and light, illuminating the paths of success and prosperity that await my journey. May my arms open, and my hands extend with faith to receive the gifts and blessings of the Kingdom of Heaven. O Almighty Lord, open the ways for those who wish me well placing protective angels ahead and at my feet to prevent any stumbling caused by envy, defamation, or any harm. May misery, poverty, sadness, bitterness, ruin, and scarcity stay away from my life. O Saint Benedict, free my heart and the hearts of my family from all bonds that generate hatred, resentment, and suffering. May, through your glorious intercession, 
our lives be enveloped in the glory of God, in His providence and generosity. May the Holy Trinity, Sovereign and Eternal God, free us from the prisons and torments of hell. Through the cross, where the Lord triumphed, may He speak and respond for me. May contrary hearts be threatened, as I and my family, protected by the medal of St. Benedict, renounce any evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May they retreat, unravel, and know no evil, for we trust in the divine light of St. Benedict to protect and guide us on our way. By the power of the name of Jesus, I place the cross as a guide and light in my mind, soul, spirit, and surroundings. May the spilled blood of the victor of Golgotha surround my past, present, and future. Like a shield, may the medal of the glorious Abbot St. Benedict extend over all beings in creation, blessing every member of my family, closest friends, and loved ones. May all remain protected and covered, guarded from top to bottom, from wide to narrow, from north to south, from east to west, by the unquestionable power of the one and triune God. On this day and under the powerful intercession of St. Benedict, I break and undo any attack from the enemy and corrupted soul that seeks to prevail over me. I cover my mind and my heart with the love of God, warning off any disturbance that tries to attack my thoughts, heart, and spirit, as well as those of my children, parents, nephews, relatives, and those I love. May this clear prayer ward off any evil, just as the raven drove away evil from the hands of the holy abbot. In the face of your blessing, may any poisonous scheme now be rendered ineffective, glorious Saint Benedict. May the Holy Cross illuminate me, preventing the dragon from dominating me. Satan, retreat and find no space in my life. Drink yourself what you brought, O glorious Saint Benedict, and may the divine light protect and guide us always on our way. In this moment of deep spiritual connection, we conclude our prayer, confident in the powerful intercession of St. Benedict. May the divine light shining upon every spoken word permeate our paths, dispelling any shadow seeking to obscure our victories. May peace, grace, and divine protection accompany us at all times. By entrusting our yearnings and challenges to the care of St. Benedict, we recognize the importance of keeping faith alive in our hearts. May this prayer be more than spoken words, becoming a sacred link between us and the divine forces that guide our destinies. May the blessing of Saint Benedict, carried by the strength of the cross and protected by the Immaculate Virgin Mary, permeate every aspect of our lives. At the end of this prayer, let us remain steadfast in the conviction that, under the protection of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are guarded, blessed, and guided on the journey of life. Amen.